Hello. So it seems that the time is almost here and PlayStation has announced that they'll be finally, finally showing off what the PlayStation has to offer this holiday launch. When will it be shown? This Thursday, June 11th. You can expect an hour long presentation from Sony showing you the games that will be launching and the console that you'll be owning. Now the presentation itself is going to be an hour long and it's going to be 1080p 30 frames per second. Now the reason why is because of the whole pan pan situation and how everyone is still working from home and limitations and whatnot. But they promise that the games will deliver and will look better when you play them this holiday season in 4K 60 frames per second. Well that is if you have a TV that's able to handle that. And they also want you to use headphones because I guess they say that there's some trickery that they've got going on when it comes to audio and they want you to experience what they have in store for you and you won't be able to get the scope of it if you use your cell phone or laptop. So that in itself is very interesting at least for me because I love playing my games with headphones. It blocks the real world out and it immerses you into the actual video game. Now being an Xbox guy I'm very very excited to see what the PlayStation has in store. Not having a PlayStation for over 5 years? And missing all those games really took a toll on me this generation. Especially now when I have nothing to play on my Xbox One. I'm excited for the console itself. I actually want to see what the final build is. Probably going to be a tower like the Xbox for heating issues, but I guess we'll see. I'm very excited for the controller. It's a step forward from the DualShock, which I did not like at all. But what has me most excited is the games. And the fact that they're built for the PlayStation 5 and are not cross compatible with the PlayStation 4. Which means that these devs will take advantage of the PlayStation 5 power or at least as much as they can at this period in time. That doesn't mean that I'm not excited for the Xbox Series X. Most likely than not I'm gonna buy that console. But I really want to find out what the PlayStation 5 has in store. One thing that really has me confused about these console situations is the solid state drive. It's my understanding from what I've been reading that the PlayStation 5 has an advantage when it comes to the solid state drive. But what I don't understand is why the Xbox Series X also has a solid state drive. Can it not be used the same way the PlayStation 5 can? I guess not. I try researching and looking to see what the difference is but I get a bunch of boring articles talking about blah 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 blah. So I gave up and instead I might let the consoles do the talking. If the solid state drive is such a big deal I expect to see it when the PlayStation 5 finally shows its cards. And if Microsoft is unable to respond when they finally reveal their games and console then things will get very interesting. The good thing is. I won't have to wait long and neither will you. This Thursday we finally, finally get to see what the PlayStation 5 has in store for us. In a few months we'll see if Microsoft and the Xbox Series X has a response to it.